Hi, I'm Kevin D. I just want to run through the features of our CTB26, that's Civic Travel Bag, 26 liter. Uh, this is really similar to this bag's big brother, the CTB35. Uh, has almost identical feature set, just in a smaller, more everyday size. On the outside of the bag, on both sides, um, we have these expandable stretch pockets. These are sized to fit a one liter water bottle. Uh, but they're also a handy place to stash gloves, a newspaper, um, what, what, what have you while you're traveling for the day. Uh, at the top of the front panel on our travel bags is uh, just a pocket right on top here. It's got pretty good depth. This is a super handy uh, pocket for traveling. I just kind of use it like a stash. Um, just have a hat in here right now. You can also put like a water bottle in there as you're going through the terminal on your on your way to the gate. Uh, it'll fit a Cap One pouch. This is just, it's a good pocket with good volume. It's just kind of right front and center, just an easy place to like dump things um, and just kind of keep it all together. Uh, similarly, at, at the top, there's a yoke pocket that's common on a lot of our bags. Uh, this is a good place to keep things up high. Just got a little snack in here and pretty big glasses case if you've got sunglasses or something that you don't want to get crushed. This is a, a good pocket that's right on top, easy to get to, just a quick access. Um, at the top of the bag, there's a handle, so you can grab this thing and sling it around, put it where you need it. Um, this bag also sets really well on its side. There's a side handle on the bag, so you can pick it up this way. Uh, this side handle is reinforced underneath with an aluminum stay. So even when this bag is loaded out and heavy, um, it still keeps its shape. It doesn't collapse under its own weight or bag out and uh, it carry, carries pretty well on the side here. Additionally, this top at this admin pocket in the front works on its side. You can get into all of these. Um, also, there's a mesh pocket inside the uh, front panel here. You can get into that pocket while it's on its side. Um, also from this position along the back panel here, there's a long zipper. This is a dedicated laptop compartment. Um, it's fully padded all the way around. In addition, there's a sleeve that's suspended off the bottom of the bag. Um, I've got a 16 inch MacBook Pro in here right now. Uh, there's a little strap to secure it in so it stays put. This is also a great place to keep magazines and documents, anything flat that you just need to keep organized and orderly. Um, Super handy pocket. Um, in between those two handles, we left a little space that's just kind of a cutout. You could clip something here. You could put a luggage ID tag here. Uh, just kind of whatever you would like to use this for. Um, and all these handles and cutouts are just really low profile, not in the way. They don't get hung up on things. Uh, on the front of this bag, there's a little slash pocket up front. Um, this has got just, it's kind of an admin area. It's got a couple of drop-in pockets that are sized for like phone or passport, wallet. Uh, there's a slot that's good for pens and pencils. Um, and there's a little zippered pocket for smaller items, loose change, receipts. Uh, I usually keep some headphones just kind of balled up in there. Um, and in this pocket, we move the key leash to this area so you can keep your car keys handy and accessible, but out of the way. The main zipper is a U-shaped zipper that runs around this entire panel. It gives you a variety of opening options. Uh, from the side here, you can open like this, get in nice and easy, look at your things. Um, you can also open it around the top and just sort of pull the front open and take a peek in there. And of course, you can unzip the entire thing all the way around and get a good look at the contents of the whole bag. Uh, this is a nice way to just see everything, take inventory, pack and rearrange stuff, get whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, so opens nice and big so you can see everything. Uh, let's look at this panel. Inside the panel at the top is our standard kind of opaque security pocket. Um, uh, this is a pretty flat pocket, but has a couple of drop-ins. Um, it's sized for passport, wallet. Uh, there's a wider pocket where you can keep extra cash. I've got like a power bank in here. And then uh, the whole thing is open. You could put a boarding pass or receipts or whatever um, up top there. And it is opaque, so if you had money or something, um, it, it's kind of secure in that way. No one can see it if you're digging in there. Uh, below that is this mesh pocket. Mesh so you can see through it. Um, I've just got a computer charger. Got a Cap One pouch. I keep my toiletries in here. 
Um, and, I, and I like to have them here for travel in case I need to like brush teeth or something um, between plane rides. Then in the, main, in the main cavity of the bag is just kind of a big loading area. This is just where you put all your stuff. So I've got a couple of shirts, a couple of pairs of pants, packing cube with a bunch of t-shirts, socks, underwear, and all that. So just nice big loading area here. There's a stretch pocket on the back side. Um, I use this today to just like pack a bunch of clothes and stuff. So I'm not really using this stretch pocket, but you could throw a book or a magazine in there. Anything that you just want to keep uh, flat to the back of the, of the bag. We also put a couple of just utility loops up here. If you wanted to uh, use a little carabiner or a key ring and just clip something there to just kind of keep track of it. Um, and if you don't use this item, it's just flat and low profile, not in the way. Um, shouldn't upset you if you don't want to use this feature. Uh, the bottom of the bag is padded for durability. I'm going to be picking this thing up and setting it down. Um, so we have a little padding down there for extra protection. Uh, I'm going to just pack this back up so that it's got a little shape while we look at the while we look at it again. Okay. Um, on the main zip here on the outside, we've put these little counter poles so that you've got a nice nice zipper to pull against when you're uh, pulling this thing closed even if it's really loaded. Um, this main zipper out here is a number 10 YKK RC. It's the largest size RC that they make. And RC is the burliest, most abrasion resistant zipper that they make specifically for luggage applications. These are uh, really high quality zippers in this bag. Let's go ahead and throw this bag on. It's got the same harness that all of our backpacks have, uh, curved, fitted ergonomic shoulder straps. Um, this foam is EV50, very high grade of um, EVA foam. It's got good, good bounce and recovery and it's super long lasting. Uh, we've also patterned in a, a little wedge at the top of the back, back panel. So rather than just a, a flat piece of fabric, it's curved a bit to come up around your shoulders, carries high and carries comfortably. Um, also, I've got a computer in here right now. It's not like stiff like a board. The computer can move inside there and the back panel is patterned with curve to fit. Uh, so the harness fits really well without a lot of adjustments and straps and Velcro and things. Um, also coming right over the shoulders here are two hydration ports. Uh, these are just little low profile openings. Uh, they're bias cut so the openings can stretch just a little bit, but there's no elastic, no Velcro, no hardware, nothing to fail. It's just kind of low, low profile bladder ports um, if you need them. Uh, this bag also has a sternum strap. Um, it's adjustable up and down. You can install it for a right hand draw. You can also take it off and flip it over so you can uh, use it with left hand draw if you like it that way. Uh, you can also take it off and not use it if you don't like to use sternum straps. Uh, this bag also uh, features our new breathable back panel. Um, what we've done here basically is uh, take the foam and replace the foam, which has, which is basically a, a rubber with bubbles in it. It has no air permeability. We've replaced that foam with a really thick um, 3D spacer mesh that has a uh, really high compression resistance. So it looks and acts and feels like foam, but has really high air pass through. Um, that material is maybe a little abrasive on the back. So we've covered the whole package with a 50 denier monofilament polyester woven. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty open construction. So it has very high air, air permeability. Um, and a 50 denier is really large yarn. Uh, so it's, it's really abrasion resistant and durable. Uh, this is uh, on all of our products now and we're pleased to offer it in CTB26 as well. Um, there's two layers of that monofilament underneath the shoulder straps uh, for added breathability there also. In addition, down at the, the bottom section here is a scuff pad, scuff panel. It's uh, two layers of uh, the shell nylon and it's cut on the bias, um, which gives it extra yarns and extra abrasion resistance right along the bottom edge. Uh, this back panel also is kind of floating. There's space behind it. This acts as a luggage pass through. Uh, so without any extra parts, straps, zippers, hardware, anything, um, this bag will turn and just drop right onto uh, roller bag luggage uh, for easier travel. 
material package in this bag, like all of our bags, is very high quality. Uh, the shell is a 420 denier nylon. This nylon is solution dyed in black. Uh, solution dyed just means that the nylon uh, is dyed way upstream during the uh, production stage. So as it's still a liquid plastic, they dye it black. Uh, what this does is sidesteps the need to have a uh, piece dyeing process later in the fabric production. So it saves water and energy. It also makes the textile extremely color fast, uh, resistant to UV, um, like fading, um, and also like fading from scuffing or anything. It's super, super color fast. Uh, so that's on the shell. Uh, the lining, I'll just open it up so you can see. The lining is lighter colored for better visibility. Uh, we chose gray so that you could see other colors in contrast against it. And it is also a 420 denier balanced nylon. Uh, it's a high tenacity nylon, 6'6", uh, for the lining. This is a nicer lining fabric than you'll find in the, in the shell fabrics of a lot of other backpacks. So all in all, this is a kind of a smaller, a little more daily sized bag, but it's got a lot of features, a lot of nice things going on. Uh, our logo on the front here is this piece of embossed loop Velcro. It accepts our high visibility patches that are sold separately. So are retro reflective um, and the colored ones are fluorescent. And this is our CTB 26.